Okay, here's our second question. I'm opening it up with a picture. And it's a picture of a young boy uh, who looks like he's reading to his sister, who who can, can't be more than six months old. In fact, I would say only three months old, right? That's three months old, three months. We got a three month. And the young man, he's very young, right? He's got to be in what, three to four. So definitely um, um, right out of nursery school, starting preschool, three to four year old, right? Now, if those are the ages, three years, three months, um, is this young man really reading a book to his uh, sister? Probably not, right? Most likely not. But he is holding the book. It's not like he's eating it. Um, he's not, uh, he's, he's holding it. It looks like he's holding it properly. He's pointing to the pictures. So he's demonstrating some book handling skills. But here's the big thing. He's probably, as a three-year-old, he's probably doing something called pretend reading, right? Who's heard of pretend reading? Pretend reading. Now you've seen this before, maybe. A three-year-old or two-year, a three-year-old gra grabs a book as you grab a book and you're reading and the child is sitting next to you and they're reading. And it doesn't matter if they're really reading it or not. The point is that when a child does pretend reading and tries to mimic the reading process by holding the book and pointing to the pictures, whenever you see pretend reading, I want you to remember that they're showing an awareness of print and that print carries meaning. Okay? So if you see pretend reading in your, your scenario, I want you to remember print awareness now that that preschooler, that three to four year old is demonstrating um, that print carries me. Now let's take that idea. Let's read this question. You have one minute to practice your pacing on your mark, get set, go. And unfreeze. You got to freeze me. I, I, I go away, but then I come back. You finished? You ready? Okay, good. Preschool. Hmm. Three to four, maybe four to five. Let's just say, uh, let's just say three to four. We got this very young, young student there. Okay, the the uh, child, that, let's say the three year old, picks up an unfamiliar book, opens to the end. So right away, they're opening to the end of this book. So we wouldn't say well developed, right? Now they are demonstrating some book handling skills, like um, they're pointing to the text, which is good. Um, and they're pretend reading. So, so I mean, they, they're demonstrating some, I mean, they're pointing to the text, they're probably holding the book. So there's, there's, there's an emergent book handling skills going on, but it's not well developed, right? Book handling skills, uh, we're going to talk about it in a moment. Um, you know, well, maybe we should talk about it right now. Let's, let's just clarify real quick. What is a book handling skill? <laughs> Okay, we're back. All right, so so that's a book handling skill, right? Holding the book up properly, pointing out the author, um, the title, reading from top to bottom um, uh, as you as you progress, reading from left to right, going from the uh, beginning, middle, and end. They're they're not really doing any of those things, right? So it's definitely not well developed book handling skills. That's out. How about directionality? What's directionality? What is directionality? Okay, we're back. All right, it's not really directionality going on. We can't even tell. Pretend reading, they're not telling us if the child's reading from left to the right. And to be honest with you, a three-year-old preschooler, they're not reading. So there ain't gonna be any directionality going on. So that's out too. So then what do we have? Well, it's not, I don't know if it's this one, knows where individual words begin and end. That would imply that they're reading, right? And I'm not so sure. I'm not, I don't think that many preschoolers are doing that, or especially three-year-olds. So let's cross that one off. So, so what's the answer by default? Well, again, the key is in the language. Pretend reading, preschool pretend reading. From what's given, which is very limited, 
if we if all we get is a preschooler's pretend reading, then we can say that they have an understanding that print carries meaning, right? That's that there's very little information in this basic question. So from the little that we're given, I think that's a fair assumption is that if they're pretend reading, they're demonstrating that that text, that book, they know that that book carries meaning beyond, you know, um, beyond, you know, something else. It's, it's its own unique thing that carries meaning. And that's what we can see whenever a child imitates the reading process. They have that awareness that print carries meaning. Okay. Another great question. Don't, don't be like, this is easy. I don't want you to say that with any of these, they're going to get harder. Trust team, they're going to get harder. I got to give you some stuff to start off with, but, but this is a, a, a good exam to take a look at, right? So here's the test. Get to review some of these vocab ideas, right? We did these book handling directionality. Uh, we got to review these ideas. Uh, don't scoff at these basic questions. Okay. The newer new exams are going to have wordier stuff, but it's really, it's, it's the same concepts. They're just taking a basic idea, adding more words, but your job is still within the first few moments of reading to identify what the core concept is. or so you're trying to identify as you read, um, spot, you're trying to spot, um, your friend, right? You're trying to spot your friend as fast as possible. So it doesn't matter if it's a long question or a short question. Sometimes the short questions are better because they give that, that teacher that's just starting out uh, practice to recognize the scenario and the concept a little faster and build that connection a little faster. So this is a good one to review for everyone, okay? So take a look at it for that extra practice. And let's go to the next question.